Ford Fiesta Mark 7, ABS front wheel sensor change. Hi all, Andy here, and yes, you're right, this isn't an Audi, it is in fact a Mark 7 Ford Fiesta, and it's got a failed ABS sensor on the front of the car. So I'm going to fix the fault in the car, and I'm going to show you how I do that. So how did I find out I had an ABS fault? Well, the car told me so by displaying the ABS symbol on the instrument cluster, along with a pair of skid marks and a picture of the car. It's quite obvious, it's a yellow warning light. With the warning light on the dashboard, I used this, which is the RT Diag 500S, plugged into the OBD port underneath the dash to find out what the error code actually meant. And from that, it told me the ABS fault was a C0034. On the device, that tells me it's a failed wheel speed sensor on the front right. Now I've seen a few other videos that show cables fraying or sensors going wrong. So to make sure I've got all the bits I need prior to doing this job, I've actually picked up a new wheel speed sensor in advance of doing this job. The job itself is fairly straightforward and simple. It just requires me to jack the car up, remove the front wheel, remove the wheel liner and get to the cable and the plug behind. Then I can unplug it, remove the sensor, put the new sensor in and fingers crossed that should solve the yellow warning light. The tools you are going to need are as follows. A wheel brace, a trolley jack, although you could use the car jack if you have to, an axle stand for extra security with the car up as I would not trust the jack alone, 8mm socket and socket wrench, Phillips screwdriver and a star screwdriver. I would rate this job with a difficulty of 2 out of 5. Get the wheel trim off if you have one on and loosen all road wheel bolts before you get the car on the jack. Next, find the jacking point on the sill or a part of the chassis to use as a lifting point and raise the car so the front wheel is off the ground. Place an axle stand under the chassis and lower the jack so the car rests on the stand. Leave the jack in place to give yourself some extra reassurance when working in the wheel arch and remove all wheel bolts from the wheel and take off the hub. So here we have the front wheel arch with the wheel out of the way and the part that we're interested in is this part here. Here is the ABS sensor and connecting wire. It is secured in the back of the wheel hub by an 8mm bolt. Single bolt here by my finger. Now there's two pipes that connect the back of the front wheel. One is for the brakes, you can see it's the brake pipe there, so it's not that part we're looking at. It's this part here. So this is the ABS sensor or wheel speed sensor. You can see it goes up behind the wheel liner just there. So we need to get to that by removing this Phillips screw. I think there's a few Phillips screws around this wheel arch liner. So let's get the wheel arch liner removed next. On this wheel arch liner, it's probably worth pointing out the fixing locations. There seems to be a star screw at the front here, one, one further up, two. On the front, at the back, there is a Phillips here and a Phillips here. There's also a Phillips here just by the ABS sensor pipe. There's also one down here at the rear of the arch liner and I think that might be it. Here's the fixing locations of the screws. There also appears to be an additional hole at the rear here where I think a screw is missing. As in many of my other videos I like to map where each of these screws go so I always put the same screw back in the same hole and I do that by drawing a picture of where all the screws and bolts are on a piece of cardboard and I push them through the cardboard to mark the spot. I'll make a small hole. That's where the first one went. And the second. With all those bolts, screws out the way, the arch line just falls out. Very different to the Audis because they take a bit of negotiation, but that just literally fell out of the hole. And with the arch liner out of the way, 
we can now see where the ABS sensor goes through the bodywork. So it's plugged and clipped together here. I think we can just pull that and it will come down. Like so. So my thoughts are it's either going to be the problem in this wire into the bodywork or it's going to be in the sensor itself. So we could just unplug that. I think you lift like that and that unclips just like that. So put some pressure on the back of this clip to push it up which frees it off this small lip here and they pop apart. So with that removed that will fade through the bodywork like so. Clips off there like that. Again this will slide out of these retaining pegs like that. So that's the old sensor removed from the bodywork and the last thing we need to do is remove this small bolt here. So I'm going to give that a good coating with some WD-40 or lubricant to free it up to make sure it comes out with no trouble. <laughs> Give that a little while to soak in. So to remove the old ABS sensor, it's an eight mil socket. Oh, that was me thinking that was gonna be a fight to get that undone. That penetrating fluid has done its job. Removed the bolt because there didn't seem to be a replacement bolt with the part, so we're gonna to have to reuse that. Might need a little bit of persuasion, but it's only plastic, so. That's all that's holding it in. After sticking my flat screwdriver in the bolt hole and breaking a bit of the old sensor off, I was getting nowhere fast removing it. In the end, I resorted to giving the cable a firm pull and it just popped out. So that's all you need to do to get the old sensor out. So pulling on this, ah, oh, there you go. Just give it one good hard pull and out it pops. So here's the new one. I'm just going to slide that straight into the hole. It doesn't seem to want to go all the way, just because it wants to be difficult. Give it a rotational wiggle and it will go all the way home. So it's simply a matter of screwing this bolt back into place. It wasn't overly tight, this bolt. It just seemed to be a quarter of a turn with a ratchet. Like that. So that's now in. Now it's just a case of reattaching all of the various clips to where they were. And I believe the first one went into there like, like, like so. Then it's just a case of, oh. Attaching the sensor together. Now push this clip back in to relieve the pressure and it should just clip into place, you heard that go. Put a bit of that through there. This into this hole here. Like so, and that's that reassembled. Insert that again. Now that all that's left to do case of reassembling the fasteners into the holes from whence they came according to the cardboard. So these plastic fasteners push through the hole and then the Phillips part of it just pushes through. It locks in place, very simple. Not forgetting the two star screws. Odd that these are a different style of fitting to the plastic moulded screws. So that's our new ABS sensor fitted. All I need to do now is get this wheel back on, get the car down and see if it's all worked. Here we go, moment of truth. Has the ABS light gone out? Yes, it has. I'm gonna check it with the code reader 
to make sure it has actually gone away and it's not just still appearing on the code reader. So let's give that a go. So I'm clearing the uh, fault codes with the reader. Then we're going to rescan the car. And now you can see the ABS is coming back as clear. So I'm going to take the car for a quick drive and see if that intermittent fault comes back. So that's the old sensor gone and the new sensor fitted. I've taken the car for a quick spin. It is night time, but I've taken it down the road and done about five miles. And the great news is that intermittent ABS fault that was appearing on the dash, completely gone. I've rescanned the car, no error code. So that's a really good job jobbed. It's taken me between 30 minutes and an hour, I'd say, to strip it all down and get the parts swapped over if I wasn't filming it. And a difficulty rating, well, I'd say two out of five maybe, so anyone can do this and give this a go. So for 30 quid, it's a really cheap fix. I hope this video has helped you with your Fiesta. If it has, then please do give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more helpful tips in the future. Thanks for watching and see you soon. Take care.